What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I decided that this one is going to be a very realistic day in my life. I've done productive days in my life. I've done, you know, productive morning routines. Considering I woke up at like 10.30, we're already off to not the most productive start, but it's still going to be a good day. It's just going to be very realistic. Hi, um, could I please get a, a venti ice cream macchiato? And then could that please be upside down and could it have extra ice? And then could I just get a warmed up croissant and that would be it. So it's actually Tuesday, so I'm gonna have just a good Tuesday. There is one exciting thing happening today and that is that I'm getting my hair cut. I'm so excited. Every single time I get my hair cut, it's just like I'm more excited to get my hair cut than when I'm getting my hair dyed. I don't know why I didn't cut my hair when I dyed it like a month ago. That would have been smart of me, but if you guys remember seeing that vlog, I was there for like five hours, so the last thing I wanted to do was add to it. I'm actually going to somebody that my cousin recommended. She was like, she got her hair cut by this lady and she was like, you need to get your hair cut there too. So I was like, cool make my appointment so I have my appointment today at 3 30 I'm getting some Starbucks and I also have to go wash my car I want to get my eyebrows done and I have to stop at the bank gas is expensive has anybody seen the gas prices I didn't even think I know I heard about it like I kept hearing about it like oh guys gas prices are gonna go up like you know blah 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 and then I go to put gas like when was it three days ago and I was also in the valley and it was seven dollars bro I literally looked at it and I'm like there's no way there's no way so I'm gonna be walking from actually no I'm not I know I say that and like I joke around I'm gonna get a bike no I'm not I'm not gonna get a fucking bike but it's still annoying um yeah that being said I'm going to the valley today so. thank you hey Brianna hey, how are you I'm good too getting my coffee thank you have a nice day you too. bye <laughs> you too Sorry, sir, I don't want to run you over, but literally get on the sidewalk. Please proceed by following the directions on the side. I really don't want to vacuum my car. I'm already here, so I know I should. So I'm gonna vacuum this really quick. That was the quickest I've ever done that, but my car actually looks a lot better, so. Okay, next I'm getting my eyebrows done, and this is pain for like three minutes, but nice eyebrows for like two weeks. So let's go do that. Okay, never mind. I'm not getting my eyebrows done. I just had like the weirdest experience in there and usually they're really nice. So I go in there and there's no one in there. And I'm like looking around waiting to see the girl and then she like peeks out behind a curtain and she stares at me and I'm like, oh shit. And I'm like, oh, like, hi, like just my eyebrows today. And she looks at me and she's like, oh, you can wait. They also don't speak English very well in there. I don't know what language they speak, but I know it's not Spanish and it's not English. So I think she was like, she's having a little difficulty with the language barrier. But if she was being rude, I don't care because I'm still going to go back because I have this little thing and I'm one appointment away from getting my eyebrows done for free she probably meant to say like can you wait but it ended up coming out as like oh you can wait or something i don't know anyways <laughs> we're leaving now with ugly eyebrows but that's fine because we'll just be back tomorrow okay i'm back home now and i actually got a package so we're gonna open it up together and then yesterday i also got a package and i got a book i cannot remember the last time that i was this excited to read a book but this is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I also heard that Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six is sort of like mentioned in here, like the worlds kind of collide with this book because it's during the same time frame. I'm excited. I'm also running a little bit late, so I have to hurry. This is like a PR package. I never get PR packages. Okay, so they sent me a caramel concentrate. And I think they sent me another one, like another flavor. And then they sent me a cup for iced coffee and a cup for hot coffee. And my favorite part. Look how cute that is. I'm on my second cup of coffee or else I would try it, but I'm trying to stay alive for the rest of the day. Okay, first thing I had to do really quickly before I left was upload this video. 
So I just scheduled it 15 minutes from now. So see ya. If you haven't seen my book video, go watch it. Okay, so since this is a cute little realistic day in my life, reality is that I'm running very, very, very late. So I'm gonna do my makeup really quick. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little makeup tutorial of what I do when I'm running late, which is pretty much every single day. I don't know how this happens. I'm the type of person where I'm like always not stressing but i'm always thinking about what i have to do and like what time i have to be there and what time i have to leave so you would think that i would be there or i would be like on track of my time no i'm not so anyways i'm gonna show you guys what i do makeup wise when i'm running late i probably have like 10 minutes to do my makeup <laughs> So on days like today where I don't have time, I skip foundation and I pack on the concealer. If my eyebrows are bad, the whole thing is bad. And my eyebrows are not the best right now. Oh my god, my eyebrows are pissing me off. Okay, so I've been using this bronzer. It's the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in shade Sunlight. I remember when every single one of my makeup products was um, like a high-end makeup product or like, you know, Sephora makeup product. And now literally most of it is drugstore because I realized that expensive doesn't always mean good. Oh my God, not to sound dramatic, but I want to kill my eyebrow. Okay, there we go. Okay, then I go in with the Milani Luminoso. Same old, same old, and I put that everywhere. I've been going a little crazy with it lately. Like, I just put a little extra, like, more extra than usual. Just because I feel like it looks super, I don't know, makes you look alive. Okay, and another step that I've actually been adding is going in with black eyeliner. Cool. I've actually been stacking two different types of mascaras. I use this mascara, which is the Maybelline Sky High one, and then my OG favorite, which is the L'Oreal telescopic one so i put those two this took about like 10 minutes and this is literally what i do every single day when i'm running late for work um so yeah now i'm just gonna choose an outfit and we're leaving cool so just kidding about the whole outfit change i literally took one look at my closet and i was like i'm gonna have a mental breakdown trying to pick an outfit right now so i'm sticking with my leggings my vans and my cute little disneyland crew neck so i'm on my way now and i have my time perfectly planned out to where I'm gonna make it, um, hopefully. Well, so I'm picking up my cousin from her school and she gets off at 3.20 and my appointment for my hair is at 3.30, but the place is like five minutes away from her school. So I'm cutting it very fucking close. I hate being late to hair appointments because I know that like hairstylists book themselves like back to back with other people. So if you're late, that's like five minutes or 10 minutes if you're late that you know she could have spent using that she could have spent on your hair so um where was i going with this i don't know but i'm on my way now and no stress express i have good time I just drove back from the valley. I'm currently stopping at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get what I want. Pretty much I only want the the pot stickers. Hopefully they have it because I heard they're really popular. And last time I tried getting something really popular was the rice and they were sold out. So my aunt took my cousins and I to get tacos and I ate four tacos and they had like tortillas de chamano and everything. So you know, those are a little thicker. So I'm full of but I could still go for a little pot sticker, so. Go. 
usually Trader Joe's is literally like the most crowded place in the world but for some reason not tonight so that was very quick and very successful okay so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got and then we'll go home and cook it first thing I got green beans and they're done next we got parmesan cheese next i got garlic powder and the last two things are the chicken gyoza pot stickers and then i got the crunchy chili onion spicy sauce that is supposed to go really well with the pot stickers cool okay i'm literally losing brain cells as we speak because i've been driving for like almost 40 minutes i just want to get home and okay in here because i feel like you can see my haircut more now i'm blow drying my hair for the first time since i cut it and i haven't done my bangs but i want you guys to see this difference like this is how it's gonna dry naturally now and this is how it's gonna look blow dried and i haven't even done my bangs but i'm so obsessed okay so literally this was my inspiration pick like this was the pick that i was like that is what i want my hair to look like i'm obsessed 